What is up guys, Zanif Tech is here, and I'm back again with another Fifine Technology microphone review, but this time I'm reviewing the K026 microphone, which is a karaoke styled microphone that can also be used for interviews. This entire video was recorded with this microphone, so notice the sound quality throughout the clips. Inside the box, you get the usual goodies, the manuals, which are really not that important. Then you have the microphone and the USB dongle. This microphone is a completely wireless setup and there's no cables involved and there's actually no jack, even if you wanted to make it a corded microphone. So if you want a truly wireless microphone, this is the route to go. Here's a USB dongle that I was talking about. As you can see on the bottom of the USB dongle, you have a headphone jack that you can directly plug in your headphones and listen to what the audio recording is from the microphone instead of plugging into your computer. You may be wondering how the actual quality of this microphone is. It is made out of a plastic material and not metal besides the top head of the microphone. It's made out of a metal material and you do have a foam piece inside that actually helps out a little bit with your pops, but not fully because they're still there and you may need a pop filter in the future if you want to use this microphone for interviews or professional use. Here I have some headphones that I would use usually to listen to my recordings and you can just plug them directly into the USB dongle on the back like I stated before and then you can just plug into your computer and listen directly to the microphone output instead of it going through your computer and maybe having some lag alongside of it. The sound quality of this microphone is fairly decent. I do have to turn up the gain a little bit in software editing but overall the microphone sounds good. It doesn't sound excellent because there's a bit of popping going on when speaking into it but maybe if I use the pop filter it'll be a little bit better but otherwise it's okay. Here you can see when I turn on the microphone, I can physically see the little screen, but on camera it's very dim and it's actually dim in real life as well. And I really wish that was one of the things they fixed with this microphone because you can't see what channel the microphone's on that easily. The microphone comes apart in two different ways with the head of the microphone unscrewing and also the bottom base. When you unscrew the top of the microphone, you will reveal the actual microphone head and then you will also see the foam piece that I talked about earlier in the top metal portion. It does help out a little bit, but not as much where it clears out your sound quality. A pop filter will definitely be needed, so you don't make mistakes when speaking into it. Otherwise, the microphone head is of really good quality, and that is why the sound quality sounds really good as well for this type of microphone. The bottom base unscrews the same way as the top, and you unscrew it to the left and you reveal the battery compartment. You will need two AA batteries, which they don't provide. So keep that in mind when buying the microphone, make sure you have two batteries or you won't be able to use it. I really wish they had a rechargeable battery option where you can just plug in the microphone to a USB port or some sort of that. It'll make it a lot easier because for example, if you're at a conference or an interview and you don't have AA batteries, but you do have a power bank or a USB port somewhere, you can plug it in to charge really quickly, but with two AA batteries, you can't. The AA batteries is kind of a bummer in this microphone, but it does have a low battery indicator. So when you're getting along that point where it's running out, it will let you know. Here, you have actual button that I didn't mention before, but it's a frequency button that's on top of the battery part when you unscrew the battery compartment. This allows you to change the frequency to different Hertz based on what's better for your needs when using this microphone. So there you have it guys. This is the K026 microphone review. And if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up so I know how I did. Subscribe to the channel if you really loved it. And leave me a comment down below on things I could fix or maybe things that I did good. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Zanitech is out.